Well, Jerry, back to winning ways this evening. What's your immediate feeling after that commanding performance and your men? No, really pleased. I thought I thought on another night we could have maybe scored more as well. So um, I, th I thought I thought it's a really good reaction to three losses on the bounce. Um, what you have to do when you're when you're in a little bit of a bad run, and as I said before on Saturday, we've never experienced three losses in a row. It's just be consistent, really. Um, we spoke before the game, didn't we? And I said I took my way away, myself away from it on Sunday. Normally, I'll go and buy the non-league. I didn't. I took myself away from it. I switched off completely from football and um, made the decision to do that and just freshen myself up, really, as well, because people talk about players, but it's us as well, managers and coaching staff, that feel it just as much, if not a bit more, because we're thinking about it 24-7. So um, what I did, I cleared my mind. I spoke about uh, to myself. I spoke about two weeks ago tonight. We went top of the league. Um, and and things aren't as bad as what they might seem. So um, we lose a game at Chelmsford to a penalty. So on the overall, when you're looking at that, we've we've dominated the first half up there as well. Um, but tonight, I thought that was a that was a Bath City performance. That I thought we were on the front foot. We we changed the two shapes. Obviously, I had that in my mind to do that because I felt as if we were a little bit open with the back three. Um, as soon as we went back to that back four, we looked a little bit more solid. There's some little bits we still need to work on, of course. Um, but three really good goals and um, pleased for Ryan Brunt because he's come in and. Showing what he's all about. He's not only scored two goals, but he's um, he's led the line fantastically and occupied the two centre backs, linked the play for us. And um, Tom Smith's had about six or seven shots tonight, maybe a few more, and uh, deserves his goal. So, um, no, as I said, it's an, an all round really good performance. Um, Hampton offered little, if I'm being honest, within the game. Um, there was a couple of dubious decisions that might have been in and around the edge of the box, which were fouls. And of course, our penalty, I didn't really get a good view on it, but um, it looked. It looked a 50-50 for me. I was unsure. Um, but like I said, we didn't get one Saturday, but we've got one tonight. Well, Ryan Brunt back in the side for his first start this evening. He's been knocking on the door asking you to pick him and he, he's rewarded you anyway. Yep. <laughs> he's waited his opportunity. We had a good conversation Sunday over the phone. Um, I, I, I'm quite open and honest with my players and it's great that they can pick a phone up and speak to me about anything. And um, within that moment where I was trying to switch off, he did call me when I was out. So, um, But of course, you have to answer the call to, to players. That's, that's what my job is. And we had a really good uh, discussion. And um, listen, he's, he's, he's come in and played ever so well tonight. So, um, But listen, there's, there's, there was an exciting young man out there as well tonight. <laughs> I thought Awara Edwards was, was terrific. That's my frustration because I've been trying to get that through for three weeks. And um, the powers that be at the FA haven't managed to do it. And um, I understand they're busy and they've got lots to do and there's loads of these clearances that need to go through. But um, it seemed to drag on a bit too long, this one. And um, Paul and, and Quentin's worked ever so hard <laughs> behind the scenes trying to get it done for us, constantly beating the drum. And then we get it through tonight at half past four. So um, because I knew what he would do, it, you know, his brother was fantastic for us last year because he's got something that a lot of players in this league haven't got. He's got the ability to go past people with real pace and energy and dynamic He's a dynamic player, um, but he manipulates the ball a little bit different to Opie as well. Opie sort of knocks it and goes, but I think Awara can, can manipulate the ball either side. And you saw with his cross, his left foot cross has come in for the penalty. And then his cross again for Ryan with his right foot. So he's had a massive impact on the game, as has, as has Dan Rooney as well. But I don't, listen, I'm, I'm singling out players, but I thought that was an all-round good team performance. We, we had to sort of went go without Harvey Smith tonight which has probably not been noticed by too many people he's thought he had concussion so from Saturday so he's had to drop away from it and I've had to ask um, Alex and Matt to go in there first as a three and Joe to go as part of the three and I thought they were terrific when it went back to a back four as well so credit to Matt Bauer he's been sat out being patient but he showed what he can do Back to players like Awara Edwards, he's coming. Do you need to even give him instruction to go direct? He seems like he's just going to do it anyway. He really loves to run at players and get to the byline at the time. He's almost like an old-fashioned winger, really. And uh, there are some sim similarities with, with Opie out there. The only thing is I'll do, like I did with Opie, what you don't want to do is if they if they knock a ball... I remember Opie's first game here quite quite clearly against East Thurrock when he went on and scored. Um, he knocked the ball out of play before he'd scored that goal. But the first two touches he had, he went backwards. So all I do is encourage him to get out players. So they're not the young young men, the young players are going to be inconsistent at times. But it's important to encourage them what they're good at. So we tried to leave him in one v ones as much as we could. Sometimes it was two v one against, and he still got away from it. So all it is is really just that encouragement and um, and just saying keep keep being a good player, keep being keep being aggressive and attacking defenders because there's nothing worse. I've played at fullback. To have a player like that driving at you, it's horrendous. And um, Listen, he, he's, he's got learns, he's got bits he needs to learn about and develop. And that's why Brian and Bristol City have brought him to us because they know that will happen. Um, but 
but off one exciting debut that was tonight by him. Another thing pleasing, back to the clean sheets after yeah. the few conceded in the last few games and no real tests at all. Ryan Clark had a couple of saves in the first half, but the second half he was a virtual spectator. No, that's really important to us as well. Um, and all I'll say is I don't want to be coaching for 45 minutes from the side, second half. You know, we're still, there's still bits we need to work on with our distances and full backs tucking in around side centre backs. When the ball goes backwards, when we get up the pitch five or six yards to move those strikers as well. That's important as well. So. We'll be drilling that in training. There's, 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 as I said, there's always stuff to work on. Um, but credit to the boys, they've kept a clean sheet. They put the bodies on the line with those two free kicks, didn't they? Ryan's pulled off a couple of really good saves at point blank. Um, so we want to try and limit them. And um, the hard work goes on. Nothing changes, Mark. We, Even though we'd lost three games, the processes stay the same. We're still doing the same hard work behind the scenes. The players still show the same attitude, commitment. And um, it's quite nice. All you have to do as a manager is, is like I say, take that bit of criticism on the chin when it comes along and just um, and throw it away. And like I said, I've said this before, you know, you, you listen to the people that, that you want to listen to in the game. You take that information on board. And I've had lots of advice and bits and bobs from mentors and people I trust in the game. And, the, and, the, and in the end, the people that want to be um, negative and throw, throw anything else at you, you put it away and put it in the drawer and, and, and don't and try not to listen to it. So um, we were all bitterly disappointed to be on a three game loss. Um, and I understand that people will criticise, but it's important that we stay consistent, and we will. hope this is the start of another really good run for Bath City because um, we're capable of it, but it has to be with hard work. And that was the first time actually Hampton have failed to score this season as well. It's another accolade, and you're facing a side with plenty of firepower on Saturday and another trip to Billericay time where we produced a fine away performance at the back end of last season, or the final game of last season. Yeah, we enjoyed going there. I really enjoyed going there, actually. It's something something about going there that you, you enjoy and um, we're really looking forward to it, obviously now. And um, listen, Hampton, Hampton are no mugs, by the way. So they'd had a little mini revival before their result at Eastbourne on Saturday. And um, Gary's a, a guy I, I really respect. He's, he's, he's got a very, very small budget there and a lot of young players who are learning on the job, like I said, some of ours are. So um, no, listen, it's, it's no mean feat to blow them away with three goals and possibly get a few more if we could. And um, that's, that's credit to the boys in there. You know, like I said, we. All we'll do is we'll stay consistent, we'll stay the same. Um, we're not going to win every single week. Um, I want to say a special thank you to all the fans that went to Chelmsford. Didn't say that Saturday because um, that's a long way to go and the people did turn up and support us and clap us and cheer us at the end. That, that, that meant a lot to us. And the people that's turned up here tonight as well. It's not easy because the kids are going back to school. I get it, I understand it. But thanks, credit to everyone here is at Twerton Park tonight. And um, hopefully they've enjoyed the game because I thoroughly have. And um, let's hope we can take a coach load down to Billericay and cheer on the boys down there.